piece of work crew welcome to a piece of works kitchen today we are doing soul food sunday for pre-memorial day look cookout food so today is actually going to kind of be a cheat day because i'm only cheating with the greens i didn't have time i didn't feel like making homemade greens you guys so i'm cheating with the greens um and i already made my potato salad because I need my potato salad cold, you guys. I can't have it room temperature and things like that. So yeah, I kind of already pre-made some stuff. The chicken is marinating in the refrigerator. I'm gonna show you guys what I marinated that with and things like that. So please subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the squad. Hit that subscribe button. Tell the next person. So I have marinated the chicken with Worcestershire sauce, complete seasoning, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. And then I let that sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. Now I am adding cornstarch to the bag. That's what the chicken will be coated in. I do not use flour because it is very heavy to me. Um, then I'll be seasoning the corn cornstarch with garlic powder, some onion powder, oregano and black pepper just for extra flavor once the cornstarch is seasoned and flavorful we're gonna throw that chicken right on into that bag shake 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 shake, shake until your arms can't shake anymore and now your chicken is coated with all of that good cornstarch what I do is once the chicken is coated, I actually set the chicken to the side for about 10, 15 minutes to let the everything set sort of fry better. Now I will begin to prep the macaroni and cheese. I have two huge blocks of mild and sharp cheddar cheese. I have sliced those the width way and then I'll dice those into cubes. And then I'll be going on and doing the same thing with the cream cheese, slicing it the width way and then dicing it as well. Now I will boil the macaroni noodles until it is al dente. Look at my amazement on my face. <laughs> Once the noodles is done, you're going to strain them in your colander to stop the cooking process and let that sit to the side until we are ready to place everything together in a pan. We are ready to prepare the macaroni and cheese. So you're gonna place your noodles into a pan. I have cracked two eggs and seasoned them with salt and pepper for flavoring. Mix, 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 mix. I have added macaroni noodles to the egg so that the egg does not cook when it is added to the full pan of macaroni noodles. Then I have added some butter to make that all buttery and good. And then I'll be stuffing that thing, stuffing that thing, stuffing that thing with all of my cheese. Oh my God, you guys overload this. I love my macaroni cheese, very cheesy and creamy. So we are gonna stuff that thing, stuff that thing, stuff that thing. And now I'll be adding the cream cheese to it. And we're going to do the same thing, you guys. We're going to stuff that thing and stuff that thing and stuff that thing until there's no room left, you all. Stuff, 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 stuff. I love a good, creamy, cheesy macaroni and cheese. I have learned this from my grandmother, you guys. Once everything is stuffed, I'll be adding my milk to the pan. I don't measure I just pour 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 until I see the milk 
on the sides of the pan, you guys. And then it is oven ready. Now for the baked beans. Get your guys self a nice can of Bush's baked beans. Crack that thing open. I have diced and added some green peppers, a whole bunch of brown sugar and some barbecue sauce you all and we're gonna stir that thing stir that thing stir that thing and cook it down until it is done you all yum <laughs> okay guys go to your nearest store and get yourself a nice can of glory greens crack it open add some pepper and hot sauce to it stir that in and let it do its thing in the pot easy chicken is done look at that chicken it is cooked to perfection that nice golden brown oh it looks so crispy and crunchy you guys yes this is how i love my chicken coated in cornstarch it is not heavy it cooks so light you all i beg you to please try cornstarch when cooking chicken you will not regret it. I promise you. Get into this chicken. Look at this macaroni, you guys. It's been in for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go in and stir it around, mix everything together. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how creamy that looks. So I'm going to top it with some more Kobe cheese and put it back in the oven for a good like 30 more minutes and then it should be ready. The macaroni cheese is done. Look at that golden crispy cheesy crust you guys oh my goodness get into it look at that oil oh look at all that butter on the side get into it you guys get into it nice crispy topping mm, you guys so good You guys, don't be a me and be 29 years old and still scared of the biscuit <laughs> popping. Yes, you guys, get you a nice can of biscuits, place that on a baking sheet and put it in the oven and it should be ready. Shake that thing, shake that thing, shake that thing for them biscuits, shake that thing for them biscuits, yes. The biscuits are done. I have added some butter and honey to a bowl, mix it all around, and I am topping those things with some honey butter. Oh, get into it. Look how flaky and buttery those biscuits look. I really hope you guys enjoy these biscuits because I know I did. Get into it. Look at that butter just dripping. Dinner is ready, you guys. I have added barbecue sauce to the chicken and put it back in the oven on broil. Look at that chicken. Get into this macaroni and cheese. Look at that cheesy, crispy crust. Oh, this potato salad topped with paprika. Oh my God, nice and cold, just the way I like it. Get into those baked beans. Oh, so freaking good. Look at those honey butter biscuits, you guys. Please let me know if you like those. <laughs> Look at them grains, y'all. Look at them grains. They still good. Get into it if you like it please subscribe if you're new welcome to the family and the squad please subscribe comment share i love you guys thank you for watching 
Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned.